Anyway, yeah, that crazy God session is done. So now we get to do the first impressions. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I'm still trying to, you know, calm down after that, but kind of hard, not gonna lie. There she is. Honestly, I already really like the first ascension. If I had to guess, this might even become my favorite ascension because you, you guys know me. Casual clothes are always the best. I'm not the biggest fan of like, you know, high boots. But besides that, this looks really nice already. So I already like this. <laughs> I cannot believe that is the same VA as Raiko. They sound nothing alike. What a crazy range, right? All right, first ascension. Let's get it. Sure, dude. Okay, let's see. I don't think this has been shown at all yet. Oh, so wow, we continue on the casual line, and this time it's like a uh, some kind of a uniform, I guess. The pose changed too. Oh no, actually, <laughs> she was like, "Oh, is it kind of unusual to see school uniforms in Caldea?" Also, wow, different skin. What is that? Okay, I mean teasers. Okay, God, I wish she had still had thigh highs. I'm not gonna lie, but still nice. Oh, hey, wow, that face though, I kind of like it. Wow, the cheeky face. All right, here we go, though. Here we go. Are you ready? Third ascension, and she's a foreigner, too. Like, what the hell? Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, it's still pretty tame, but I like it. I was expecting some kind of weird abomination. Wait, did she, like, I'm, I might be a foreigner, but it's fine to aim to be, like, a space idol. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo! Wow, that high ponytail as well. Uh, I think one or three years is my favorite so far. Also, her poses, I think it, it, it's different on every ascension, right? It's time for the FA. It's probably going to be one of those ascensions, but honestly, at this point, they should all be good. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> Whoa, it's two. Okay. Whoa, is that a strat? Freaking Alco the Rock over here. <laughs> I guess it's not the second ascension either. It's just a very similar looking one. This is probably what she has on uh, Maho Yoru, if I had to guess. So, stand. Wait, did it just cut off? <laughs> that sounded like it cut off. I didn't press anything. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, anyway. Damn, so is that a Fender strat? I mean, they can't obviously show that it's a Fender, right? But that's a Stratocaster. Freaking based. I really like her aesthetically. I like that she's so, it's like normie aesthetically. I love it. Okay, let's see those sprites. They're probably gonna look nice and clean as well. Oh, nice. Oh, that's that's so clean though. It's clean. Okay, very modest. Nice. I like the bracelet too. If, if this had thigh highs, this would be like 11 out of 10. Oh, I like the wide stance. Confidence. Damn, I can't choose. I might go with one for now, though. But man, they're they're nice. They're just nice. So aesthetically, if it wasn't obvious, I'm very pleased. <laughs> Some people might be like, oh, is that it? That's like, there's nothing like fancy. But I'm like, amazing that there's nothing super fancy. That it's like so nice and clean and chill. I like it. Like every ascension I like. And honestly, once I read the visual novel, I might even like her way more. So who knows? Could be a potential grail candidate as well. We'll see. Now, uh, let's talk about gameplay. So now Atlas should have stuff up. I was told yes okay great so she is a five star foreigner stat wise 12.3k attack with 1k foes so as far as i remember it's pretty good among foreigners right it's obviously not among ssrs it's not nothing like crazy high or anything like that but it's it's a decent amount it's nothing crazy but it's fine you know it's fine now deck wise what do we got double buster double arts okay it's my favorite deck as well hit counts three on buster three on arts four on quick and five on extra Pretty standard numbers. How's the MP gain like? 0.55, so that would make her arts cards fine. They're pretty decent. They're not amazing, but they're fine, okay? So far, pretty tame, actually, for stats and the deck and gains, right? Let's talk about the passives next. Ooh, that's the foreigner icon. So what do we got? Self stars, two per turn, and then um, debuff uh, resistance, right? So she does have the... It's an E rank of the foreigner passive, but she does have it. So hey, immediately... That confirms the Van Gogh synergy. Uh, it's 2% debuff rest, by the way, because it's the lowest rank, so that's like a whatever burger. The passive itself won't do much, but yeah, for that Van Gogh synergy, it's definitely nice. She has territory creation E for a measly 2% arts up, so again, not the biggest deal, but you know, cool, I guess. Also, I forgot to check, what is her MP type? Okay, it's arts. It is arts, but yeah, um, I don't even know, because I think it changes, so we'll see how that works. Item construction E is 2% increased debuff success rate, so again, not much, but there it is. In 
fact, she's like triple E so far. But then we have a C rank passive, which is just called Mahot Sky. I get it, you know, uh, Magus, Magician, you know, whatever you want to translate it to. So self, debuff resistance up, death resistance up, uh, buff removal resistance up, and then self or invul statuses are wait is is this the same as kukulkan they become her invuls become special invul they do it's the same thing whoa that's kind of cool yo so all her invuls become special invul i mean this is still not as good as the cuckoo passive because cuckoo has 10 stars per turn which is absolutely ridiculous but that's cool also the numbers on the other stuff are 20% debuff res, 20% death res, and 20% uh, buff removal resist. It's still very good though. It's a very good passive. You can't rely on the buff removal resistance to, you know, get you out of the pinch when there's buff removal, but it's nice. And then the other two can be helpful too. It's a nice passive though, yeah. Wait, do, does the other stuff change as well? <gasps> Whoa, there's a new passive if you change. Wait, should I cover her? Like, we'll just look at everything normally now and then we'll do the change, okay? Because apparently it changes more than just MP and whatnot. Oh, wow, there's more changes. Okay, anyway, uh, her anti-append is against sabers. Okay, that's like a whatever. But, you know, you're expecting most foreigners to have a neutral one anyway. It's fine. So the MP, so... Ah, here we go. She changes... First line, she changes into super alcohol, okay? So it is a transform MP. Wow, okay. So what does this mean? Attack, HP, skills, MP, cards? Change? They all change? And skill remaining turns? Oh, they carry over? Oh, okay. So school cooldowns are not reset. So I assume it's because the skills change too, right? Anyway, um... When Buster attack, Buster and Extra attacking, their AoE attacks, right? Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, it's half. It's, it's full damage to the main target and then half to the others, right? Oh, dude. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool, though. Okay, what else? And then when her, she gets Buster up for... Wait, is this permanent? She gets permanent Buster up and permanent Extra effectiveness? Not just damage, by the way. These are effectiveness. So card gains uh, or star gains are increased. And also for extra, also the gains are increased, right? So it's like the uh, pen, basically. And then crit damage up for three turns. Scales with overcharge. Whoa. Whoa, transform into super alcohol. So then she gets uh, on M... Oh, th oh the both of those effects are MP level. Okay. So on MP1, you get permanent 20% buster and extra effectiveness. That's MP1. It's 50 on max rank, by the way. Interesting. And then the crit damage on base overcharge is 30% for three turns, scaling up to 70% on max. Okay. Oh, dude, the uh, the uh, Atlas also says change BGM on self. It changes the music as well. Yo, that's cool, man. Yeah, um, I guess now we can flip the thing and um, we'll see everything besides skills, I think. Because we'll, we'll see the skills when we go there. But let's see, anything else changes? Wait, her stats change too? What? Yo, and this icon. Oh, dude. She gets way more attack. She gets 1.2k more attack. Whoa, okay, now it's really good. Like, previously it was like pretty tame. But now it's really good. For a foreigner especially. Yeah, she loses HP though. Her HP does become lower, but honestly, that's that's fine for a DPS. Okay, we'll, we'll, we don't look at the skills yet, but yeah, anything. Okay, these don't change, but I think they added one new passive, right? Yeah. No, two new passives. Okay, let's go back to that tab and see what this does. So, self... Wait, what is that? Yeah, it's magical bullets. What are, what are magical bullets? Every turn gets two magical bullets. Is that what it says? Okay, I assume we'll see that when we look at the skills, but okay. Interesting. Anyway, what's the other passive? Every turn, all allies get a bit of MP gauge. And then every turn stars per turn. She has permanent team-wide gauge per turn. It must be 10% though, right? Is this even on the wiki? Or uh, Atlas? I don't see it. Yeah, you get those magical bullets, which stack up to 20, apparently, two per turn from the first passive, the new one, super passive. And the other super passive is 10 AoE gauge every turn, permanently when she's super, and then three stars per turn. Wow, wow, wow. So her passives are pretty cracked when she's super version. Yeah, with, the, with her first passive, it's five stars per turn total. <gasps> yeah, maybe two uh, super arcs could be cool, actually, yeah. So how does a super MP look like? Okay, so... She gets Invul Pierce for one turn before anything, and then uh, Ignore Defense for one turn before everything. She has the Godly combo, okay. And then does... Uh, 
Defense down on all enemies for three turns before damage, scaling with overcharge. Okay. And then does damage. Oh. Oh, the more magic bullets has, she, the more that she has power, super effective uh, on, or power mod again from her, from her own magical bullets. And they stack, uh, stacking up to 10 times for max damage on MP. And then she removes up to 10 magic bullets. So this basically consumes them all. I guess, no, you, you can hold up to 20, right? But this MP would use up to 10. Okay, that's how, how it works, I think. Okay, I assume most of the time you're probably gonna only have 10 anyway at most, but okay. Cool. I mean, for a DPS MP, that sounds amazing. The effects are great. Let, let me see the numbers, though. So it's five hits AOE arts. So I wonder if she can loop. I don't know how her batteries work yet, but okay. <clears throat> Interesting. So on base overcharge is a 10% AOE defense down on all enemies for three turns. It's count to 30%. Okay, so it's not an insane number on the defense down, but it's very cool that it's before damage anyway, though, right? Wait, does her deck change too? Oh, it's triple arts now. You're right. Also, wait, do the card hits uh, like uh, do that or do her numbers change as well? They do. Her MP gain is now 0.33. So even her gain is changed. And the uh, cards are triple arts, th triple buster, four quick five hits. I think the hit counts remains the same, right? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So she goes caster mode. Yeah. Wow, this is such a really crazy looking servant. Okay, let's go look at those skills next. Okay, so the first unique icon, what do we got? Okay, I think it first shows the normal version. Oh my god, text for ants. Three magical bullets. She can have up to uh, 20 of them, right? Yeah. Uh, quick arts buster, normal attacking. She uses a magic bullet on those and gets an attack up for one time. And when extra attacking, uses all magical bullets and depending on the amount, gets attack up for one time and get stars. It's a star bomb. Oh, it's a two-turn cooldown. You're right. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, let's see uh, like what the what the uh, numbers on this look like before the uh, super version, right? Gets them from the skill consume. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Okay, so you get three from using it and then your normal attacks consume them and extra consumes everything you have. When you consume them, you also get these one-time attack buffs. Oh, it's before attack. Okay, so they're always consumed. Okay, so even the extra one consumes it. You can't save that for the MP, for instance. So yeah, it's, it's similar to Super Orion, right? But instead of crit buffs, it's attack buffs. Okay. Oh, it's 20 stars on use. Okay, that's cool. Two-turn cooldown. Let's see. I think now it shows the super version next. Oh, okay, now it's a four-turn cooldown, but let's see. I assume it does the same stuff with more, maybe. Oh, now she gets six bullets on use. Okay, and then your normal card still only use one per card. Okay, for that one-time attack buff before damage. All right, and the extra attack still uses all the bullets for a big attack. Gets an invul for one turn now, that's new. Which is basically special invul because of her super passive, right? Or actually, that's a normal passive, that always works. So she gets one turn of special invul. She gets three turns of arts up when you use the skill now. Those are the two new things, okay. So the difference is she gets three more bullets. It's no three normally, now she gets six. And then she gets a one turn special invul and three turns of arts up. That's the difference between the normal and the super versions. Uh, oh, oh, it's actually, oh, it's a bit, you don't get the stars though. You don't get the stars anymore. So interesting. So it's not strictly better necessarily. There's no star bomb anymore on the super version. So you get the invul and the arts up instead. I see. And it's a two turn longer cooldown. I mean, this sounds really cool though, in, in theory. All right, then we got some kind of a gauge per turn icon. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, let's see. Self. Wait, all allies get MP gauge. Every turn, all allies get gauge. And this is for three turns. So this is another AOE one. And then every turn gets stars for three turns. Oh, does it say these effects are wiped out when she transforms? So you lose the three turn star AOE star, uh, star per turn and the um, gauge per turn when you transform. You don't get to keep these buffs. Okay, otherwise you would probably stack way too much stuff. Also, that's a seven turn cooldown. So it doesn't sound that good. This skill sounds like whatever if you don't transform. Numbers wise, so on a seven turn cooldown, it's uh, 20 gauge per turn for the whole team. Pretty good. And then 10 stars per turn. Yeah, this is a weak skill, honestly. I mean, it's good when it's up, but it's still, it's nothing crazy. It's like, whatever. I assume it's way better when you transform, though. So let's see that one now. Super version. Still the same 7 turn cooldown, but now she gets a huge battery herself. It literally says huge. And then a big star bomb. Okay. Interesting. So what does this look like numbers-wise? She now gets a 100% battery. Okay. 100% gauge. And then 40 stars. 
<laughs> okay, that's 100% battery, yeah. We got one of those again. I mean, she has AoE MP, so honestly, she can probably farm, right? It's probably gonna be a bit tricky because you have to get the MP first, right? So you can't even do the MP immediately on turn one, actually, now that I think about it. Anyway, uh, cool, though. Very cool. <laughs> All right, and then we got a rainbow buff. Oh, <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. I that's so tiny. Okay, I'm gonna try and zoom in my like look at my phone screen. Uh, single is this a targeted skill? Okay, so target gets a three turn rainbow, then they get crit damage for three turns, then they get healing every turn for three turns. Then that's a new trait, I think. Yeah, it's literally plot armor, <laughs> it's like uh, main character protection or whatever. Yeah, negative effects of skills and MP do not trigger. But it's a targeted skill, right? So it works on others too, right? If they have demerits. Because she doesn't really have demerits, right? So it's no demerits for three turns from skills and MPs. I mean, that's kind of cool though. <laughs> <laughs> Except for instant death removals. Oh, so it, so it doesn't prevent sacrifice? Uh, so, uh, sacrifice MP still work. This doesn't prevent sacrifices. Wait, that's the normal version though, right? Oh my god, there's still a... I forgot there's a super version. So what the hell is this now? Is It looks very different. When you have 100% gauge or higher... Oh, you can only use it when you're max gauge or higher. Okay, so you need a max gauge to use this. But to be honest, her second skill already gives her uh, max gauge. So there's that. Okay, then she... Oh, it remove. It uses 100% of her gauge. And then she gets five turns of buster up, five turns of extra effectiveness. All allies besides herself get battery and skill cooldowns minus two and heal them. Is she a support too? It's an eight turn cooldown. How much is this? How much battery do they get? They get 50% battery and minus two turns of cooldowns. It's a it spread 50 for allies besides her. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I forgot to check the red numbers on the rainbow skill as well. The previous one. It's 30% rainbow, 30% crit damage, 2k heal per turn for three turns. Okay. What? This is spread 50? Minus herself? I mean, you have to stack her own battery, though. So there's that, but okay. So, yeah. So you take 100 from her and the allies get 50 each. Oh, there's probably gonna be so many different use cases, right? She's probably gonna do a lot of different things. I can only fat. I mean, I assume people are already theory crafting on what what you're capable of, but I mean, maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe a lot of this is not that significant, but it seems like there's a lot of stuff in here, though. Also, yeah, I, I didn't even mention the batteries spread 50, but she herself gets 50% buster up for five turns and 100% extra up for five turns from this too. <laughs> And remember, her extra and busters are AoE. I mean, she only has one buster as super, but yeah, still. And it's a 5k heal, by the way, for everyone, right? It's not just minus herself, like the battery. Everyone gets a 5k heal as well. Yeah, I'm gonna up these skills a little bit, and then we're gonna see how she looks like in battle and feels like. Let's do the MP. Wait, so wait, do these face cards change in the fl on the fly? I guess one of them is an arts card and one of them is a buster, but I don't know which is which. <laughs> I would like to do a full arts, but I don't know which of these is an arts card. <laughs> Damn, they should probably do that. They should probably show which one it changes to, actually. I, yeah, I guess you could use CCs. Yeah, true. But that's the lazy. That shouldn't be, like, there from a game design perspective. Wow. It's pretty cool, man. Damn. Oh, dude. Okay, this is a buster card still. But it's AoE now. Ooh, it's so cool. What a shattering kick. And then the extra does uh, AoE as well. Whoa, yo, damn, it's so cool though. Mm. Oh, dude, she loads in six. Oh, dude, the icons look kind of cool though. Look at, they're all buffs. Big battery, boom, 100%. Oh, it's so cool though. Oh my, like of all the beam ones, it, this could be recency bus, but that's pretty damn cool. Wow, let's see the refund. Yeah, her gains got nerfed on super as well, right? Also, this kills, doesn't it? Yeah, it kills. Wait, that resets as well, I just realized? That's interesting. Did you see that? The target died, so she doesn't overkill the target. It resets. Because it's AoE. Yeah, it, it's a reset. Wow. What I just realized, yeah, the, the whole stage has different music now, right? Yo, that's so cool. It's like our, she changes the whole music for the, st for the rest of the battle, not just for the MP. Yo, that's so cool, man. They should do that more. All right, let's, tr let's try this skill. It's going to drain. So wait, if I understood this correctly, it's not 
drain everything. It's minus 100%. So I'm not saying if you have MP2 or higher, you could potentially still MP on the same turn. But I guess you could, really, right? It should be a minus flat 100%, right? Let's see if I'm correct in this, if I read it correctly. It is! <laughs> It's a minus 100%. It's not a full drain. So yeah, you can if you can go above, it's actually kind of better. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> oh, we get the refund too. So wait, this this is kind of bad for refund though. Yeah, that's kind of... Okay, so it can be bad sometimes that it resets. Because now I got less gains. Yeah, that's actually... Sometimes it can be bad. Yeah, so, so the uh, extra effectiveness is going to be good on her. The append, right? Yeah, at least for DPSing. This is one of the least free-to-play friendly servants you've seen. Yeah, honestly, I feel like at MP1, she's going to be quite underwhelming, right? Unless you use her for supporting, because she might have some support application too. Then it's probably fine. This is only scratching the surface. I have no idea what she's going to be capable of doing. So yeah, wow. What an addition. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up this first impression there. This is, this is probably a long video anyway, because it took me a while to even understand how she even works, because you kind of had to like read everything to get some kind of an idea here. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, do me a solid and press the thumbs up button on this video, okay? Very cool. Really helps out. Also, do subscribe not to miss out on uh, future videos. Uh, after this, I'll be uh, doing a buff breakdown. I believe it's Fujino and and um, Calamity Jane. Yeah, they got buffs. Expect a video about those two soon after this. But yeah, good luck if you're summoning for Aoko. I wish you the best of luck. And otherwise, hope to see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.